Volkswagen means a Volks vehicle, and it continues to be even today. A 1.8T 20 valve is a tuning friendly power plant that provides a decent potential for affordable money. As a successor, there was a belt driven 2 litre TSI EA113 with a Borg Warden turbocharger, and in 2007, there comes a replacement as a small turbocharged engine that promises some possibilities. <laughs> The 2-liter TSI engine is a unit that opens doors into a cool world. Not only you have most likely gotten yourself a sporty oriented model like a GTI, R or S3 promising better handling, but there is a potent engine on top. In the basics, it is a sturdy boosted 4-sonder with the same design and issues of the 1.8 TSI variant. Let's dive in step by step. The EA888 engine is a successor to the EA113. On the spec sheet it may seem very similar, and although the cylinder size is the same, they are both completely different. The new unit does not use a timing belt, it is fully chained and uses a plastic oil sump. There is a variable timing also on the exhaust side, and intake flaps are vacuum operated rather than by motors. They both have their problems, but nothing is unfixable. The EA888 is here to prove its qualities, after some good tuning possibilities of the older EA113 and the famous 1.8T20 valve. It uses a cast iron closed deck engine block, 220mm tall with an aluminum head using 16 valves. Pistons are pinned to 144mm long connecting rods on a 4 steel crankshaft with a 88mm bore spacing. A compression ratio was lowered from 10.5 to 9.6 to 1 and there is also a different turbo. A Borg Warner swapped for a water-cooled triple K exhaust manifold integrated unit. It is a direct injected engine only, using a four-lobe roller tappet on the exhaust cam to power the high-pressure fuel pump at 190 bar. The Gen 2 of the EA888 was introduced quickly a year later, with the various modifications done to it. Mostly, they fixed issues discovered on the Gen 1, but also improved efficiency and friction. Main journals were reduced by 6mm, 58-52mm, to the engine received new pistons, rings, and a different way of machining the cylinder walls. A variable oil pump was a standard feature, and Audi equipped variants did feature a two stage intake valve lift control, 6.35 and 10 mm from 3100 rpm. They were both manufactured alongside for some time, although the Gen 2 was more popular. Gen 3. Further update of the engine was aimed into lightening the whole engine. Cylinder walls were reduced in width from 3.5 to 3 mm. New pistons, rings, oil pump were equipped alongside a new lighter crankshaft with smaller weights. An all new aluminum head was designed featuring a water cooled exhaust manifold inside it. This heats up the engine more quickly and cools down the exhaust, eventually achieving a leaner fuel mixture. The turbo is basically mounted directly to the head. Thermostat and turbo wastegate are both electronically operated. Both cams have a variable timing, however the variable valve lift is now a standard feature on non-Audis as well. Another major modification is a dual injector setup with added port injectors, not only removing a possibility of carbon deposits on the valves, for which the EA888 is known for. An easy recognition is that the Gen 3 does have an oil filling cap on the timing chain cover, 
not the valve cap. of the Gen 3 received improvements like bigger exhaust valves, more aggressive intake cam, different turbo, reshaped cylinder head, or even lower compression ratio of 9.3 to 1. The EA888 is a decent engine and with a well maintenance should be able to hit 300,000 plus kilometers. The worst problems are stretch timing chains or excessive oil consumption due to bore score and oil sludge on oil scraping piston rings. A stage 1 and 2 tuning should not affect reliability or lifespan. The short block accommodates forged pistons, drop forged connecting rods, forged crankshaft, and the block itself is made of cast iron. Beyond 400 horsepower, there are no guarantees. Stronger pistons and connecting rods are recommended, and IS48 Turbo is a safe way to reliably increase performance. A standard equipment on a Golf 7R or Audi S3. Otherwise, there is an APR Stage 3 kit that will get you over the 500 horsepower mark. Impressive figures for a 2 liter engine.